right, coming up next, the matchup for the UFC Heavyweight Division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? for this heavyweight championship fight. Four years apart, with big differences in height and reach. And now, one more time for the official introductions. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing us, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Reykjavik, Iceland. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Iceman. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Imagine having a reach advantage like this. What a luxury. It's a luxury. I've never had one over the course of my entire career. But fighting guys that are taller you struggle whenever they are very aware of such a massive advantage. This guy is going to try and use this tonight. 
Oh, man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Right hand upstairs. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Try to establish that jab. Hands high, hands high. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Good right hand right there. Lead going for the head kick. No dice. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, nice. Nice. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. He is all about that left kick to the body. Outstanding kick there by Lee. And he landed the right hand there. A little single collar tie there. Big roundhouse now just misses. What a punch. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Just out of range with that right hand. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Lee gets caught with that punch. Beautiful body kick. Plus right hand is true. Beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, huge head kick. Wow. There's the kick. It's blocked. Good stick. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Lee. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Lee. Big roundhouse now just misses. Takedown lands. In a very close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent.
got him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh! Back to the feet. Look at the turnover in that kick. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. How good is that right hand? Big head kick. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Just out of range with that left hook. And they separate. Nice body kick right under the elbow. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab. Right hand hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Oh, man. That, you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. He lands a big knee to the body. Goes back to that left kick once again. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Big body kick. Big kick lands. Head kick looked like that one was blocked. More than one, more than one. Punches and punches. Uh, nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh man, head kick lands. Beautiful level change leads to the take. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve and starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Ten seconds to go. Playing with the inside leg kick. A single collar tie here. Big punch from the clinch. All right, so there's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights, DC, and there was a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that shot again, 
if he lands that shot again, it will be over. It will be a finish. You don't recover from two of those types of strikes. He found the right moment, he found the opening, and landed that big strike. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Real sneaky body kick. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. He's going after the head. What a tricky head kick. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Trying to establish that jab once again. Real quick leg kick. Got the single collar tie. Beautiful punch. And he caught the kick. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Nice counter left there. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Nice kick. Oh, nice right hand. Nice kick down the lead. Single leg takedown. Under three minutes now to go in round three. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's gonna start looking to land big shots to the top. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Back to his feet. Checks that leg kick. Head kick. Big punch lands through the middle. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Misses with the right hand. He engages in the single collar tie. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Got the tight clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Oh, and he lands another knee there. DC it doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Went for the inside leg kick. Back to the jab now, no good. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, perfect head kick there. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. What a punch. Oh, big head kick. Right hand on point. Whiffs on the right hand. Able to check the high kick. 
Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Single collar tie now. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. 15 seconds to go. Oh, nice counter punch there as he continues to make good use of this advantage in reach. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Big body kick lands. Stop, stop, stop. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. No big deal. He's got a little cut. It's not gonna affect us at all. Do not worry about it. You take a deep breath, get out there, and get back to work. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up, because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to think physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. And maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Not there. Oh, big knee to the body. Man alive. Missed with that attempt. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Going back to his pack. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Trying to stay in this fight. And there comes the separation now. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low. Right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Great punch landed with so much power. Lee's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. What a fight! He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. All right, he engages in a single column time here. Look at him working at trying to shut the lift down. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great record. Oh, good entry there to take the fight to the grappling realm. Now we'll see what he can do from here, champ. This is exactly where he wants to be. Look for him to try to use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, let's go. Get him on. All right so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Recovery, man, right back to his feet. Blocks that kick to the body. Big kick. Ooh, what a punch. How about that shin? Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Now connects with the right. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Big knee land right through the corner of midsection. Lands a punch 
there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. Oh, straight right. Ooh, what a head kick. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landed. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. That could affect the judging. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. All right, next round getting underway here, and both Here's fighters it. still look pretty fresh to me. Clearly, DC, they put in the right work when it came to the cardio during training. They both have reputation for vast cardio. You see in the training that they do at their gyms that cardio is key, and you watch it in the way that these two fighters perform. Leg kick. Again, going back to the jab just out of range with the right hand. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Nice punch by Lou. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like? Oh, there's the double leg takedown. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. He's having his way with him here. Close guard. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Lee. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Back to his feet. Nice punch land over the top. Nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to... Whoa! What a fantastic strike. The right hand just misses. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, big punch land. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Throws the right hand there. Liver kick. Oh, good job defensively to block the strike there by Lee. Big head kick lands. Slicing elbow from around the corner. That only happens if you can gain posture control. Big kick lands. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And now he's the hip got tosses. He takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Back mount now. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Gets up again here, but hurting. 
beautiful leg kick throw. Let's get going. Oh! oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He got it! <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines will to stop in this contest at three minutes, 37 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. So there he is, the new UFC heavyweight champion, DC. I remember when that was your reality. I'm not sure I've ever seen you so emotional in the octagon. I mean, I was so excited. He could take a breath, but he better turn right around yeah. and yeah. focus on what's right behind him because there are sharks in the water the moment that belt changes hands. A lot of guys will be looking to take...